Okay, grade tens, my favorite grade tens. Let's take a look at our general ledger. Now, when it comes to salaries journal, this is the hardest part, and this is the part they ask the most often. So I need you to stay with me. I know it's gonna be a long video. So um, Ben, I hope you're here. Yeah, you're very quiet as usual, or you're late. You're still running, I'm glad you made it. I want you to focus on two steps. Remember I said there's two parts to this. And now the general ledger, those two parts come back and we refer to them again. We've got step one, the salaries journal, where we create a liability. Then we've got step two, where we're gonna pay these accounts and that would be CPJ. I'm gonna focus on step one in this video and then the part two will be on the payments. Okay, so I've got the salaries journal of Number 3.89.18. Sorry, we're in module nine. Okay, I'm going to start on the left hand side where it's my balance sheet section. I'm creating liabilities using these numbers at the top. Now, the first account that pops up, and this is new to you, is your creditors for salaries. This account is the liability of the net salary. So I always have a little bracket here and just write the word net. The salaries that you are used to will sit in the nominal section as an expense. And this one will be your gross plus bonus if you have a bonus salary. What is the difference? Gross salary is the total that you've awarded them. And the net salary is what they're actually physically taking home. So if I'm in my balance sheet section and I go to the SJ, I'm looking for take home pay. And you should know by now my take home pay is right there, 34,741 and 28 cents. Remember, I'm creating a liability. I'm not paying this yet. I am committing and I'm recording my SJ. So your double entry for this will be salaries. So you'll see all of this will go to salaries. I don't have enough space with my fancy thick, thick cookie pens. Yes, my English is deteriorating. Um, Emma, maybe you can help me with that. And then your date that you are doing this on, 25th. These guys are normal. Most people do calculate their salaries on the 25th. So that's the first part. That is the take home pay for everybody together. I'm in the general ledger, so I put them all together. Next up in the general ledger, yeah, we're reusing paper, yeah? Yeah, it's hard times. We live in COVID-19 and we're actually saving some trees. So sorry about that. SARS. Okay, not that you would have noticed, um, Tyron, I'm sure. SARS is a liability. We have to pay this money that we've taken out of the people's salaries to SARS, 7050 So I'm going to put this here. Until I've paid them, it floats around as a liability. You'll put SJ, because it's coming from the SJ journal. Salaries will again be your entry because that's where the money will be coming from. And it'll be July the 25th. Okay. So all of these will have a double entry sitting there on the debit side in my salary. I'm getting there soon. Then I'm going to do some of my deductions. I'm busy with this first block here. I'm going to go to pay pension fund. And first up, I've got 2625 So deductions I'll do in a pretty turquoise. So this money, I need to make sure I get it to the pension fund people, marker pension fund. So there's a bit of a liability. I owe them money. SJ, it's going to come from my salaries, not bank account. And it's all happening on the 25th of July. Then for medical aid, if you check here for medical aid, we've got 2,500 that will be deducted. Sticking to my color turquoise, 2,500. I will have to pay over to OXY, OXY, it sounds like a facial cream or something. Um, you would know better than I, I'm not a teenager at the moment. 2,500, okay? But now, before I go to my nominal section, remember this on the right hand side, the pink section. This is contributions. So my pension fund has got an additional 7,500 that I, myself as the employer, will be paying across. So I need to add that to the pension fund. So 
I'm going to have seven and a half added here from the SJ. But now this is not going to come out of the person's salary. Where is this going to come out of? This is actually going to come from pension fund contribution, which is an extra expense. You've got the salaries and you've got contributions as, ex as extra. So there's my debit, 7,500. This would have been, I'm going to abbreviate because of my beautiful stationery that can't write small pension fund all there okay happening on the 23rd this is all the sj all of these entries so there's my debit i mean there's my debit there's my credit and in here i will write the word pension fund contribution it's not coming from the guy's salary same date so in total if i have to work out how much i owe i'll take all the part that's coming from the salary as well as the contribution let's look at the medical aid Medical aid also has a party on the right, 5,000 Rand that the employer will contribute additionally over and above. So that's a nice extra expense, not necessarily nice, but nice for the employee that we will have SJ. And then you will write in here the full double entry OXY, or you can just say medical aid fund. I love just saying the word fund at the end. Then we know that's the liability. The liability that you had to go and create goes in here, SJ, and you will have medical aid contribution. It's not coming from the salary as the two and a half is. And there's, an, again, two amounts now that has to be paid over to the pension fund. If you look at your journal, that would have been the same story. Some of it was deducted and some of it was added additionally. And then just to finish off the salaries part on phenomenal section is that would basically mean your gross salary now if you go to the left here it says gross salary but remember to always add the bonus you don't often have a bonus but when you do have it's all of that together so i would say on the left hand side forty-seven thousand five hundred coming from my sj and my double entry because you'll see it split into various accounts will be sundry let me just check if it's sundry accounts or sundry yeah sundry accounts is correct you're going to write the sundry accounts why because this amount should be if you add that three if you add that if you add that and that and then there should be more i didn't have space for all of them so let me show you what i just did as you couldn't see on the screen Thank you for making me aware, Laka. Okay, so this added up. All the amounts that says salary, salary, salaries should come to 47,500. It's the part that they're getting in cash and then the deductions added. The deductions is only the green part here at the top.